Morning everyone, I'm Glenn Hyde. I'm uh, sort of hosting uh, today's session. Many of you have been here before, but actually there's probably about nearly sort of 50% who, who haven't. So welcome back to those who have been here before. Um, you will enjoy today. I'm pretty confident of that. So our Built Intelligence Tennessee People Conference 2016. This is our sixth year. Um, I had to check myself, so we've been five years here um, at KNL Gates. So a big thank you first of all to the sponsors who've allowed uh, this event to be put on today. So our sponsors are there at the, uh, at the top and visit them the stands during the day. So they've allowed us to put on this, this free conference. Now I don't like to dwell on the word free. I want this to be viewed as the best NEC conference, not the best free NEC conference. And hopefully certainly the feedback generally get from people is that's very much um, how they find this session. So we've got another jam-packed day full of excellent presentations and this afternoon changes up a bit. We've got breakout groups and uh, a lot more interactivity. So you've got a copy of your uh, debit packs. Everyone should have a copy. There's a few spares on the stands if anyone needs them. So you've got the agenda in there and also sort of an attendee list in the middle and um, our list of the speakers as well. Merchandise this year, uh, people came last year remember like, these shopping bags we had. Apparently they didn't get down quite so well. Few wolf whistles people were getting as they left the conference venue last year. So, uh, we've got uh, our merchandise this year. We've got, uh, particularly for those who weren't here last year, we've got our, uh, our cubes, so uh, which has got all of our sponsors' logos on, and uh, there's pens. Uh, all of the sponsors have got pens. And also, we've got our um, fact mats, so the built intelligence uh, mouse mats with compensation and process and, and early warning. So, particularly those who haven't been here before, uh, go and grab some of those before they, um, before they sell out. So people there are um, <laughs> we'll taking Chris will try to. Photos uh, um, will be taken during the day, so hopefully no one's uh, adverse to those. And the presentations are being recorded, so we're going to make those available online, hopefully, uh, before the, well, Ed was challenging himself to try and get some out this afternoon, so they don't bust the gut. But certainly this week, uh, hopefully they will be available. We had a lot of people who couldn't make it today, and even a few people who've uh, called in the last couple of days who, who couldn't make it, but um, they will be available, so they'll be available very soon. You have got delegate uh, name badges, and on your name badges you've got a number, one, two, and three. We categorise everyone into ability. <laughs> uh, and also breakout groups. So uh, more about those later on. Okay. So don't get too, the ones who are number one, don't get too excited. Underneath your chairs you've got some red and blue voting cards. Now those will come into play particularly this afternoon, but also during the morning session some of our presenters might be. Um, asking you to vote on various things. I can think about, we could do a, an EU referendum vote. Maybe that was a, a bit close to the mark, I don't know if people would really show their true colours, so uh, I'll resist from, from doing that. Uh, we have got free Wi-Fi today, so uh, at the breaks, because we're all indispensable, aren't we? We've got to check in on work and things like that. So that's the free Wi-Fi code. It's also on a stand uh, over on the table there. Uh, there's no fire alarms planned today, so if the alarm goes, then our exit is immediately opposite here. So we're down the stairs and you send the points out front by the cathedral. Do check your phones. And uh, saying that, I'm just about to check mine. Uh, so yeah, do check your phones are off and sign, particularly when you're coming back from, from breaks. So I don't know what uh, fine we should have for anyone who goes off later on, but uh, we'll come up with some suitable punishment later on. The theme of this year's conference, we try to just have a loose theme. And the loose theme for this year's conference is outside the box. So what do we mean by that? Well, the presentations this year, uh, we're just going to be looking subtly about how we can be doing things slightly differently, L focusing on sort of collaboration and innovation, but still very much in accordance with the contracts. And that's going to be um, absolutely key. We've got our infamous clause 10.1. I say infamous because it's, uh, it's everyone knows clause 10.1, but they tend to remember it for the second half rather than the first half of the sentence. So, 10.1 is talking about do what the contract says and in a spirit of trust and cooperation. And we're always labouring the key word, whenever we're doing training sessions, the key word is and, uh, because it's as well as, not instead of. And at a session just a couple of months ago, someone said, why do we even need, need, need the word and in that sentence? It was like, actually, that's quite interesting. You could delete the word, and then it says, everyone's got to do as stated in the contract, in a spirit of trust and cooperation, which actually I think is quite, quite interesting. So maybe we don't need the word at all, and then we don't have to labour on that because people tend to treat it as or rather than rather than and. So whilst the presentations today will be looking at subtly how we might be able to do things differently, it still needs to be in accordance with the contract. So working collaboratively does not mean we start deviating away from the rules. So that's a, a really um, important message. So what's happened since last year's conference? Well, from NEC and Thomas Telford, they've launched their ECI clauses. 
and uh, they are free to download. You don't even have to pay for that one, which is unusual, Tom's got it. So, um, <coughs> in the early track involvement, um, it's uh, certainly at uh, HS2, and uh, many other organisations are starting to use those, those clauses. And also, they're talking, uh, or they've set up the Alliance Code of Practice, and they're currently putting together a guidance document, and that will also be published um, later this year. I suspect that, again, will be uh, a free publication. Some of you might have caught this, uh, this survey. So NEC is the favourite contract suite for UK clients, according to Reed's survey. I might have taken this from the NEC user group newsletter, um, so, but uh, it's, it's very factual. And some of the key bits in here are that uh, NEC contract suite is now being used by 42% of clients, compared to 32, mostly using JCT contracts. So if anyone's heard of JCT contracts, you know what that stands for? Just cobbled together. <laughs> um, overall NEC reported views by 30% of the industry, up from 22% just three years ago, while the other cobbled together contract is down from 48 to 39%, so very sorry to hear for them. Um, and we've got uh, over half, 43% of the industry says it now used NEC in the last 12 months, compared to 38%. So NEC's been around for, um, what, 20, how many years are we now? Uh, 93. Um, so it still continues to be on the on the increase. So particularly even in the last three years, a big push. Within the group, the group continues to flourish. Flourish. We've got 4,800 people uh, just over now within the group. So that's 800 more than since joined today. And being that this is an invite-only group, obviously I don't think that's any mean feat. By far the biggest uh, discussion forum within the industry um, for NEC. So we've got an increased level of discussions. Uh, of good advice, and I've actually just posted a hyperlinked um, document which looks at all of the discussions that have gone on in the year. So you can now, the search function isn't great in LinkedIn, so you can go to that document and see the topics that have been talked about over the year, see how many people have commented on it, and then you can jump straight into that conversation if you think that sounds as though it might be uh, a relevant one. But very much so, self managed by the group community, and that's what pleases me so much about the group. Everyone's very constructive, very collaborative within the group. Um, I haven't had to use the big brother button once this year. We're about to delete someone's comments or uh, pay people back. It's managed uh, by the group. So this is the uh, home page. So 4,795 when I did the shot, but I checked yesterday, it's 4,802, so that wasn't incorrect uh, what I wrote. So there might be a few people who are actually here aren't in the group. Now, first of all, why are you here? Because you shouldn't be, leave now. Um, or if not, maybe just join at lunchtime and then we'll let you stay for the, for the free drinks this evening as well. But seriously, if you're not in the group, then uh, do, do make sure that um, you, you join it because it's, uh, it's a really flourishing, uh, useful group. As well as that, we've got our uh, Reachback app, which rather than a discussion forum, sometimes a question and answer portal, people might find a bit more useful. And we've now got, uh, in the bottom right corner there, 1,690 questions answered within the platform. And that's available on that version as well. So you can download the Reachback app and you get all of those 1,690 questions. So now rather than playing Angry Birds on the train, you can brush up on your uh, NEC <laughs> questions. And the people answering your questions, uh, I just took the top seven panel members. Uh, oh, look, I'm top, that's good. Um, but, uh, so in a very crude, crude order just in terms of response times, but I tend to manage the questions, so I answer the easy ones and the, the tricky ones for, for the others. So you've got, of the top seven people answering your questions, you've got six in the audience here today. So you'll see Barry, John, and John on the main stage. Rob is coming up for the question uh, time later, and Chris, uh, you'll see on the VI uh, stand. So all of us who are answering your questions, um, we're, we're here today. Group vision, I just flashed this up once a year just to remind us as why we set this up in the first place. So this is what we tried to create with the LinkedIn forum group. And hopefully we are achieving that. And certainly this conference that continues to be popular, um, hopefully is good testament to that. So please enjoy your day.